One of my favourite things about the original Blackmagic cinema camera is the remote port, allowing you to attach a remote cable and button in order to start and stop recording. This device came in handy when I was using my camera on a shoulder rig. But lately in the new Blackmagic camera releases, they've instead adopted a Bluetooth protocol, meaning there's no similar remote cable port on the camera. In fact, the only way you can get something like this is to modify a camera, like the Tilter mod for the 4K and 6K. So you can just imagine how happy I was when I found these Bluetooth remotes. Small and compact, like my old Lank remote, but packing a whole heap of functions. I've already done a video on one of these remotes, check out that video after you watch this one. Today I just wanted to show you two more remote controls that you can use on your 4K, 6K and 6K Pro camera. The first one I have here is quite similar to my old remote. It's merely just a record button with a quarter 20 thread on the back, as well as space for velcro straps. Quite simply, all this device can do is start and stop recording. However, due to its size, it would not be a bad addition for a shoulder rig. Using the velcro straps like I'm doing, I can attach it to my shoulder rig handle quite easily. That way I don't have to awkwardly reach up to my camera, press record, and then lose balance on my way down to grab the handle again. This next remote though is something definitely to take a close look at. Not only does it allow you to remotely focus your camera's lens, it also allows you to change pretty much every setting on the camera. Since my device is already paired up, all I have to do is simply turn it on and we are ready to go. This remote allows you to change a number of things, starting with the iris. The faster I turn the wheel, the quicker my iris changes. Similarly, if I wanted to change my ISO, all I have to do is press the second button and then rotate the wheel. I can remotely change the white balance, which comes in handy for speedy setup and tactile refinement. I can change the shutter speed using the fourth button. And the right hand wheel serves as a wireless follow focus for most, if not all, electronic lenses and if pressed, triggers the autofocus. But it doesn't just stop there. I can switch the remote into mode two, which gives me another set of five options to change. When you order the device, you can choose which settings you want. Otherwise, you can change later using a software provided by the seller. Now, my first button can turn on and off my focus peaking. It can go to the previous clip. It can go to the next clip. If my clip is paused, I can press another button to play it back, and last but not least, I can go back into the recording mode and start recording. This works in both mode 1 and 2. I definitely think this remote is great especially for being a first AC. Being able to control the camera remotely is great, especially if you're on a jib or a crane, or even a car mount out of reach. It's pretty fantastic for its size and price. You'll notice that the devices do not have any buttons to input a Bluetooth pairing code. You instead have to use the software provided by the seller, otherwise I have the files linked in my description to download. To start with, download the files and open the CH340 driver setup. It's pretty straightforward, just press install. This allows you to connect and communicate with the device over USB. Next, open UART Assist. This is a program used to send the device pairing code. Turn on your camera and ensure the Bluetooth mode is turned on. Now plug in your device. Your camera will show you that it wants to pair and give you a code. Select the remote from the drop down menu and use the same settings as I have on the screen. Now click open. At the bottom of the window, this is where you put your pairing code. Write the number and then follow it with a forward slash. After you've done that, it is now paired. I believe the camera only allows one Bluetooth connection at a given time, so if you want to change the remote you're using, you'll have to unpair the first device and then pair the new one. Another good thing about these is that the camera will remember them if you turn them off, so all you have to do is turn them on and you're ready to go. I've waited a long time to actually get my hands on remotes like these and not just in a prototype stage or a Kickstarter. They're definitely handy tools and for the price, you can choose a remote that suits your budget or your needs. I'll link them in the description below. I hope this video has helped you in some way, if it has be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Dominic from Gimbal Productions and hope to see you in the next one, thanks.